Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Mutton Chop Piper here. Well today's video is entitled The Weeb Radiator Pipe, A Solution to Moisture. Now first let me say that um, the Weeb Radiator Pipe is a fantastic pipe. Uh, I own two and they are a cool smoker. Uh, I get lots of flavor from my tobacco. Um, and anyone would be proud to own one. The only problem that I have with the Weeb Radiator Pipe is the moisture um, part of the radiator pipe. Now, when I smoke uh, my radiator pipe, um, at the end of the smoke, uh, I'm going to show you with this pipe here. At the end of the smoke, you take the you take the bowl off, and hopefully it'll show here. Hopefully I can get the phone to focus. But if you look down in there, you see the moisture that's in there. See the moisture at the bottom. That's what collects at the bottom. Now the only thing that I don't like about that is the fact one um, uh, I can't turn the pipe I'm sorry I can't turn the pipe over like I would a traditional pipe a traditional pipe I can dig out the uh, the ash you know and and bang it out and and clean it and be ready to go The weeb radiator pipe, you have to physically take apart and clean the bowl and the radiator pipe part separate. And the thing about it is, okay, I admit it, I'm stupid. I forget sometimes to do that. And I just, I space it for some reason. I'm like, okay, oh, I'm done at the end of my smoke. Uh, then I take the pipe. And I get all the tobacco out, and I turn it over. And by the time I turn it over, I'm, oh crap! And there's the moisture that was at the bottom now is inside the bowl, and it's gone everywhere. So I got to thinking to myself, well, how can I alleviate this problem? How can I prevent myself from doing this? Or how can I guard against my stupidity by turning the bowl over uh, without separating the uh, the radiator part from the bowl part? Well, I got to thinking, I said, well, what I need is I need something that will uh, soak up the moisture uh, and something that will... Um, allow me to smoke the radiator pipe more than just once. Uh, for me at least that's another constriction about the radiator pipe is um, if I unscrew the bowl, clean it out, screw the bowl back on, put another bowl full, <clears throat> by the time that I get about halfway down with that second bowl that liquid has moved up to where has moved up to where here and I get I suck some of it in through uh, the tube here so how do I go about being able to one soak up the moisture and two being able to have more than one bowl of tobacco with my radiator pipe if I so choose well I have to thinking about it well could I use a regular nine millimeter filter like this big bin well yes I could but this these filters are more designed to take out um, chemicals that may be in the tobacco not there's no chemicals in the tobacco but like uh, tar or the nicotine it the smoke goes through that uh, charcoal and it 
um, cleans up the smoke a little bit. It's not designed to soak up moisture. So I said, no, can't use that. So then I got to thinking, well, what, what out there in regular life soaks up moisture? I got to thinking about teeth. Okay, what, since teeth, there's moisture in your mouth when a dentist is trying to clean your teeth, how do they soak up the moisture? Oh, yeah. They got those little rolls of cotton that they put in your mouth to keep moisture away from areas that they're trying to work on. And come to think of it, they're in little rolls and they are about the right size. I may have to cut them down, but heck, let me, let me order some and let me see how it works out. <clears throat> so I did. And this is what I ended up getting. These little rolls of cotton. So, what I did was, uh, I separated my radiator pipe. And when I did so, I found that this is almost the perfect size. Um, it's a little bit, it, it hangs over just a bit. Um, I could cut it down if I wanted to, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and use it the way it is and see how it works out. Um, so I did. And it worked out fantastically. Um, it soaks up the moisture to where I can turn my bowl, my radiator pipe bowl over, I can clean out the ash, knock it into a trash, refill my bowl, and smoke it without having to go in and clean out the moisture first. So, let me show you one that I've already done. Now, as you can see, I've been smoking this uh, and I'm at the end of my smoke. So, let's take it off and see what we get. Okay. As you can see, there is the piece of uh, cotton roll. And all I have to do is just grab it. Sometimes I have to turn it over. Okay, grab it, see? And look at the bottom of the bowl. It's probably hard to see. I'll try to, but there is absolutely no moisture at the bottom because this roll has soaked it up. See how it's soaked it up there? Let's see if I can get the stupid phone to focus. There you go. See how it's soaked it up? And I only smoked one bowl out of this. So, let me show you how it works. Take the roll and you just drop it in. Now, like I said, it is just a little bit tall. See how it comes up just a little bit? So I could cut that down a little bit if I wanted to. But also you see how it's, it's loose in there? It's not real tight. Um, I like that because it will allow the smoke to, to go around this piece of cotton and into the stem here. If it was really tight, I might not be able to get a nice smooth smoke. But what that does, what this piece of cotton does is it soaks up the moisture and I can smoke this pipe uh, two or three times without having to worry about um, without having to worry about the moisture at the bottom. Now let's put this back in and let's put this back on. Like so. 
Okay, now I'm going to get a ashtray. Okay, so here's an ashtray. And all I have to do is just break up. Sorry, break up, pour it out. Then get a uh, pipe cleaner. And wipe the bowl out. Like so. And now I'm ready to fill my pipe and smoke on another bowl. So, um, I've not talked to Hector about this. I just, it's just something that I did because I needed something that would soak up that, that moisture so that I could empty my bowl and re-smoke my pipe without having to worry about separating the pipe and emptying the moisture out of the bottom of the bowl um, every time I smoked a pipe. All right, well, if you own a weed ready eater pipe, there's a little bit of little trick there to soak up some of the moisture. Um, this has worked out fine for me. I've smoked about five bowls and uh, it does a great job. I hope you uh, enjoyed my video. That's, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. And until my next video, I wanna wish you and your family happy piping.